ब्रह्मणे नमः ओम महेश्वराय नमः ओम विष्णुवे नमः ओम तांडवे नमः ओम भरताय नमः ओम अभिनवगुप्त पादाचार्याय नमः ओम सद्गुरुभ्यो नमः ओम प्रणम्य शिसा देव पितामहेश्वर नाट्यशास्त्र प्रवक्षा ब्रह्मणाय दुदाकृत In the second uh, we'll go. If the hands that are bent at the wrists undergo vyavartita parivartita and then get dropped suddenly, it is called vartitam karanam. Only, only hands. Uh, movements are given the part yes. leg is not Le- leg is not even mentioned by bharata even sthanaka is not given nothing is mentioned pakshakshetre unmukam swastikavad aashlishta meva manibandhana gatam karayugalam krutva tatraiva vihastav samakalam yavatta parivrutto vidhaya uttana veva yathasvam urboho patniyo even abhinu gupta is not mm. in like even even he doesn't So what I did was I had to depend on the sculptures. The sculptures gave me an idea that it is uh, Agrathala Sanchara, and followed by this. Mandala. So Mandala in Mandala Sthana Agra Agra. It can't be just Agra falling uh, to to. Throw the hands. He says, "I mean, no, that's throw true. the hands near the thigh. You have to reduce your height. height. Only then hands will fall on the thigh. So it has to be mandala sthana only." Oh, wonderful! Beautiful way of uh, inference. So this <laughs> is this is how I reconstructed this. And one more thing, usage is given. it is meant for jealousy anger and yes. uh, such moods so it has to be a sudden drop it can't be a very soft drop rosha vakya bhagnaye agno says and he also mentions you can rub on the yes rubbing on the thigh adho mukha see what i will do abdin yes patita Bhartitam in Satara, the starting of the movement is seen in Devi's posture. The right foot is in Agrathala Sanchara, and the hands in front of the chest are showing the course of rotation. The Agrathala foot can strike either on the side or at the back of the other foot. The body is bent on the right side. The two secondary hands of Shiva depict the next stage, namely stretching the arms to continue the wrist rotation. The movement may be finished either in that posture or continue to move and end as resting on the thighs, as seen in the primary hands. The feet are seen in the Vaishnava Sthana, with the right foot in Trayashra and the left in Parshva, caused by the striking of the right foot. शुकतुंडौ यदा हस्तौ यावृत्त परिवर्तितौ पूरूच वलितौ यस्मिन् वलितोरक मुच्यते शुकतुंड व्हेन बोथ द हैंड्स एज शुकतुंड हस्तास गेट इन्वॉल्वड इन व्यावृत्त परिवर्तित रोटेशंस अलोंग विद द ट्विस्टिंग ऑफ द थाइस इट इज कॉल्ड वलितोरकम अभिनुक्तसे इस बद्धयाच चार्या स्थिति Badhachari is going to be implied. Badha. 
The yeah. hands as Shukatunda are said to be moving as Vyavartita and Parivartita. Vyavartha Parivartita and Shukatunda shape can be performed through the Pallava and Ritta Hasta. The action will be in the following order. Lift the right foot as Kunchita from Mandala posture. This is like how it is in Chidambaram. Then hands undergo Vyavartha and are raised near the shoulders with the knee raised. Then turn the left knee to its opposite side with the foot close to its thigh. Simultaneously twist the wrists with fingers pointing down. Now lower the foot and place it as Anchita. Forming a cross at the shank. Innu cross on. Simultaneously lower the hand. This is what you see in Tanjavur. This is the position you see in Tanjavur. The Anchita foot is then made into Agra with the lowering of the hands still retaining a cross but now with the fingers pointing down as it is in Tanjavur. Before repeating the action on the other side, twist the right foot to its side and release the cross As of Badda. the hands. Unless you release for this, for this release Badda, we use Badda. We use Badda for yes. release so that next side you can perform. So, Akshipta. So, and where Baddha. does Baddha come? Abhinav Gupta's Baddha comes at the end. Yes, exactly. Valana Uru and Udvartana Uru. Yes. So, the course and the sequence and the order of the Chari will also be hinted here. Mm. And you have to observe that. And uh, to add uh, nuances to it, the Rechakas come as Mandala. Uh, uh, um, there is a dip in the height, Arambatla, then cross Pandrache, she is straight. So, there is a, a wave movement, and then turn Pandrache, there is Chinna, the, the way is Kati uh, movement. movement is there. <laughs> Satara, the Devi figure shows the beginning of the Akshipta Chari with the right foot lifted from the Mandala Sthana. The hands are seen bent as Kunchita in Shukatunda Hasta as mentioned by Bharata. The face is also turned towards the right. The figure of Shiva shows the next stage of Akshipta Chari with the right heel on the ground and with the cross of the shanks. The first two hands are seen in a posture to correspond with the co respective action of the leg. The secondary hands are spread to correspond with the onward action of the release of the cross of the legs through Badhachari. We have Prambanan sculptures here. I don't have all the 108 for Prambanan representation. It was a miracle that I discovered about 52 Karana sculptures of Prambanan and what was interesting was Prambanan is always having three figures. So, the animation is already seen through the three uh, figures, two are behind the main figure. Many of them are also broken, but still we are able to get a lot of information from these Karana slabs of J Central Java. For Valito Rukam, we have Prambanan relief figures also. Uh, the relief has two figures, though quite corroded, showing animation. In the first figure, the right foot is lifted as Kunchita near the left ankle. This depicts the beginning of Akshipta Chari. The next stage is seen in Devi figure of Satara. In Prambanan first figure, the right hand is near the thigh and traces of left hand can be seen near the head as in Satara Devi. 
The second figure has mandala posture. The right hand is seen almost touching the left elbow. The left hand is lowered near the waist with the palm turned to the left. The figure suggests hastakarana rotation. The left leg of prambanan figures prambanan figures is common for both prambanan figure 1 and 2 that is depicting mandala sthana for first and valita uru or the twisting of the thigh for the second the next stage is seen in satara shiva so we see that the satara sculptures and the prambanan sculptures have lot of semblance um this is really a miracle because when i was asked to design the sculptures for the satara uttara chidambaram nataraja mandir by um, kanchi mahaswami the first six line drawings were taken to him and then he asked me if i had been to indonesia i had not been but then he said go the meaning of that instruction could be understood only 12 years later i had uh, designed the two sculptures of parvati and uh, shiva to bring out the animation of the moment something which i thought of in 20th century had already existed in the 9th century the concept of animation through sculptures had already been done in brahmanan this itself is a link in ideas concept of showing the movement in stone and uh, the postures are also very often very similar to my design and if not even my design my reconstruction for practical purpose when the uh, there is a lacuna in um, the sutra or a lacuna in the commentary i had to depend on the sculptures and interpret the movements on my own and while doing that whatever i did i could see already existing in prambanan this was an amazing amazing uh, revelation for me and it also gave me the confidence that my work is really authentic avartya shukatundakya mur prushthe nipartayet vamahastascha vakshastaha apavikuntu tatvavet when the shukatunda hasta is whirled and dropped at the back of the thigh it is called apavidha in spite of the other hand being static at the region of the chest it's not mentioned what it is what, what it is, is not, not mentioned but after continuous study of the karanas i came to understand that whenever the left hand is um, supposed to be near the chest you have to follow the chaturashra mm. most basic posture basic posture so This so is something I I I I, re, I I gained this knowledge through anubhava, through experience, because it is there in many uh, karanas. This must be the posture, and sculpture. luckily in the sculpture also it is like that. Manu says how the process of learning goes on. Acharya padam adatte one fourth through the teacher. He shishya swamedhya padam shishya swamedhya one fourth through his own intelligence. Padam Sabrima Charibyo, another one fourth through the friends and discussions, and Padam Kala Kramene he, and the other one fourth through experience. Through experience. And Abhinu says, "Tatra samakala makshipta kyaam chariyam krutva tamay mahastam shukatum di krutam tasya vopo ho prishte nipadiye vama hastascha katakam kaha satu vakshasya eva eveti dakshinasya karapa dasya a." पर्यस पर्यवसानात पर्यवसानात उपलक्षिता वेग निसारणात अपविद्धमिति नामनैव वर्तनायाः चातुर्यं सूचितं सो इट इज असूया कोपवाक्यार्थ अभिनये चेदम हियर यू हैव गिवन टू वेस ऑफ इन द प्रैक्टिकल रिकंस्ट्रक्शंस 
the first one is the right leg performs akshipta hmm. akshipta chari yes the leg left hand is in chaturashra posture mm. the right hand does vyavartha near the shoulder and gets lowered with fingers pointing down as shukatunda when the left foot lands as anchita the fingers turn pointing to the thigh hmm. then the foot does badhachari this is for releasing so the twist of the thigh yes. and uh, uh, hasta becomes uru hasta this ah. is seen in chidambaram sculpture this is ah. in chidambaram sculpture last part is seen in chidambaram this whenever there is a need for release badha chari will be used from cross to release malana to udvartana yes. the second and there is one more interpretation based on kumbakonam karana from the kumbakonam sculpture. figure it is possible to surmise that the action of akshipta chari should be through a half turn the body turns through chinna kati the end of the karana in in a cross sha when performed J- janga swastika so the first interpretation is closer to tanjavur and chidambaram where we have baddha the second interpretation ah this is the first one adu cross the second interpretation this is close to kumbakonam and here abhinav gupta says again based on not spin chapter munchitam pada mukshitya vakshitam munchitam ni se janga swastika sanyukta janga swastika so it is a swastika of the Shank. shank it's not pada swastikam but janga swastikam so both the interpretations find relevance in bharata and abhinavita here you have commented that uh, this karana has lost its original form so we have to go only by the beauty to understand the interpretations It's very honest we are for mm-hmm. admitting whatever limitations are seen in the shastra and practice yes. this is more scientific way there may be somebody after me who will be able to find so i have to give that space aap vidhu aap vidhu number 4 apavidham in satara devi's figure portrays apavidham chari through the left foot the left hand is in chaturashra posture the body is turned backwards and the face is turned towards the right hand which is extended in shukatunda behind the right thigh in figure of shiva the regressed half turn is seen completed with the left heel raised in front of the right which is seen in parshva the rhombus between the knees is maintained the two secondary hands show the course of action while the primary hands depict the final stage with the left hand in front of the chest in katakamuka and the right hand placed on the respective thigh the figure is naturally in the tribhanga posture satara shiva and kumbakonam have similar postures ಸಮನಕಂಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸಮಸ್ತಾನ ಸೌಂದರ್ಯ ಅಭಿನವ್ ಗುಪ್ತಾಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ 
so it has to be there is no symmetry in that it has to be palam bhi to has hand should come hand down. should be flowing along with the legs yes. like the mohanjodaro dancing ah. girl yes even the kalidasa swarka malika malika agni matra here all the four all the four temples have uh, the same position so there is no other variation in this samana ko samana ko The satara figures follow the description. Lean. Lean. Sixth karan. Lean. Pata kanjali vakshastam prasarita shirodharam nihetanchita sankootam chaliyam karanam smritam. Leanam is to be remembered as that karana in which the hands do pata kanjali in front of the chest with shoulders raised so that the head is in nihanchita form. that is buried into the shoulders here abhinava gupta advocates urdhva mandali nritta hasta yes to be ended as anjali padma kosha as anjali padma kosha must be carefully avoid, avoided then it becomes laukika anjali yes yojana tu urdhva mandali no nritta hasto pratyajya tatvartana kramena vakso deshe anjali vachiye etadev pataka grahanasya yojanam अंजले अलिपद्मन अर्धमंडल अभ्यचारा पताकाग्रहणफलम लौकिकाजलिशंकाशमन तो सती तांत्रिके तुच्छल Uh, to praise somebody for flattery but he says it has to be anjali real anjali and uh, though um, the legs are not mentioned practical reconstruction you've said the samapada chari or even the static samasthana is used the samapada chari can be used along with the urdhva mandali hasta ending as anjali the Or samapada sthana uh, also without uh, moving so it is generally used to show uh, ardent endurable request this is what he says yes devata praname tu shirastaha iti vakshyamaha na tu devata praname vakshastapi vakshastopi anjali ratra it hmm. depends upon the position, position devata rishi yes. manushya hmm. law change In Satara, both the figures represent Anjali in Samapada Chari. It can also be performed as a reeling movement, along with the feet stamping to keep time. This is often seen in the chakras of Kathak. Satara Shiva's secondary hands portray Urdhva Mandali in Ritta Hasta. Swastikau Rechita Vid Rechita Vidho Vishlistau Kati Samshito Yatta Tat Karanam Gyeem Budhi Swastika Rechitam. when the hands are in the forms of swastika rechita and avidha and then separated to be placed on the waist the learned people call it swastika rechitam abhinava gupta gives the order of the hand movements which are to be chained in this karana the hands start from chaturashra posture and then proceed as rechita then they reach the region of the head through vyavarta they are vyavarta they are lowered as avidha vakra inge poite purvam rechitau tatha avidha vakra then form the swastika in front of the chest ekshetram agato swastiko ah. to be followed by viprakirna tato vishlishtam viprakirna this separation is obtained through either pakshavanchita or paksha pradyotaka tata kati samsthau paksha pratyotaka pratyotaka pakshavanchita kaachau evam dutta hasta shatka atmakam etat karanam totally six 
ஹிஸ்டோரிக்கல்ஸ்ட்ரக்சன் <laughs> One line of Abhinav Gupta's commentary is unfortunately missing. Sharanga Deva, who usually follows Abhinav Gupta, states that this karana must have some suitable charis and finally end in avahitha posture. Since he does not specify the charis, here is a suggestion. So the charis are not mentioned at all yes. this is my own suggestion so this uh, practical Should reconstruction is completely uh, it's completely from your no way of concealment of truth has no, happened no. yes so the hands start in chaturashra and mandala sthana the left foot is then placed either in front or side as pratyalira sthana sastikare chitam from this the sthana from this sthana the hands undergo urdhva mandali followed by avidha vakra then crossed in front of the chest as we see in kumbakonam for the urdhva mandali the knees are brought in as samhata this is samhata upanga of the janu and then we have Rechita, Avidha, Vaktra. Then hands are brought near the chest as Swastika. Then during the process of crossing, the left foot must be gra- dragged gracefully near the right to form the Samasthana. This is again seen in the Kumbakonam figure. Then the hands get separated as Viprakirna and get settled on the thighs as seen in Chidambaram. This must synchronize with the changing of the Sthana either as ayata avahitta or more preferably as vaishnava as in the chidambaram figure so the entire moves uh, movement goes like a uh, pratyalidam samhatam avidha vaktra swastika and samasthana and finishes in vaishnava sthana so without the all this together Chari. yes without the charis mentioned based on the hand movements based on the nritta hastas and the sculptures how the course of nritta yes. hasta needs support from charis is very clearly and understood. the sculptures also of course with both the movements so it is only with the help of sculptures mainly yes i was able to reconstruct and also the uh, organic uh, seamlessness in connectivity with the nritta hastas that will also be taken care of avidha vakra tikare chito karana number 7 swastika rechitam <clears throat> in satara the action starts in mandala sthana with the right foot brushing once and landing at the back to form the pratyalidha sthana this should synchronize with the rechita hasta as seen in devi's figure through avidha vaktra the hands are to be crossed as seen in shiva's primary hands at this point the legs are to assume samasthana shiva is seen in the vaishnava sthana and tribhanga with the secondary hands placed on the thigh and waist depicting the end of the action the actions of the hands seen in this karana seem to be performed in a more simplified fashion in the present manipuri tradition then we have uh, mandala swastika swastika to karo krutva pramukhodva talau samau tathacha mandalam sthanam mandala swastika to tat Mandala Swastikam is that movement in which the palms are turned away from the body after having crossed through the Urdhva Tala action while in Mandala Sthana. 
So nothing is mentioned. Abhinav Gupta clarifies Urdhva Tala to be taken as Urdhva Mandala Dritta Hasta. Yes. And the yes. feet undergo Vichiva Chari in Mandala Sthana. Yes. The practical reconstruction we have, the feet are to keep on stamping with the alternate toes in Mandala Sthana as Vichiva. He takes the reference from Nati Shastra. Nikutta in Stala Grena Padasya Tharani Thalam. Nikutta. Nikutta the Pada. The Pataka hands continuously move out on the sides, then upward, then again downward and get crossed again. So the whole movement goes Vichyava Achari, Urdhva Mandali Hasta. This is Nikuttaka of the feet. It is very much used for Dutta. Yes. Dutta. It will go so and this Nikutaka is what we see as Kudichi Metadavu in yes. Bharatanati. Chaturashara Hasta Abhyam Stitva Tataha Vichyava Prayoga Samakalam Budveshtita Vartanaya Gatva Tata Udva Mandali Vartanikaya Pustiko Kuryat Mandala Sthana Kuncha Padniya Iti. So Mandala Sthana has to be maintained Mainted. throughout, uh, completely in agreement with Abhinavutta. Here again, the actual movement, course of the movement is not very clear. Yes, but uh, the hastas and then the continuity of the mandala sthana, yes. everything is taken care of. And Nikutaka brings in the yes. Agratala Pada here. Exactly. He quotes again from the authority of Pratishastra itself, Agratala Sincharaha. Mm. Nikara Vakyartha Abhinaya. In, uh, if it has to be used for Vakyartha Abhinaya, it can for hearty expression, mm. to shun someone, such instances, this can be used. And I think uh, one karana can be used for several situations, yeah, yeah. depending upon the rechakas, so, depending so. upon the intensity of performance, and also depending upon the uh, way of emphasizing mm. certain aspects of the karana. True. That way, though they are 180 in number, they can have thousands of uh, temperamental variations that and is, shades. Karana 8 Mandala Swastikam The Devi figure in Satara is in Mandala Sthana with both the feet in Agratala Sanchara. The hands are showcasing the course of being spread and raised. Shiva's secondary hands show the course of Urdhva Tala movement with the hands near the cheek. His primary hands show the cross at the chest which will complete the Alapallava action. The feet are in Mandala Sthana in both figures depicting Agratala Sanchara and Udghattita. This karana is seen in a more simplified form in Gudith Metadavu of the present day Bharatanatyam. 